welcome back to the beauty desk. Today I'll be showing you how to create the perfect Valentine's Day look. I'll be using this MAC lipstick in the shade Steam Heat. Any pillar box red lipstick will do though, so just have a root through your lipstick drawers and see what you can find. Hope you enjoy the video. To start this look I'm going to be doing my eyes and eyebrows first as the product can leave a bit of fallout on your cheeks so I don't want to ruin my foundation. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows and first of all I'm just going to buff some concealer in and around the brows just so I can create a flawless finish. I'm going to be using the Ilamasca Brow Cake in the shade Gaze to fill in my brows. I'm then going to go over the eyebrow with the Bobbi Brown Brow Gel. For my shadows for today's look, I'm going to be using the Zoeva Coco Blend, which is a great palette of neutral and some shimmery colours, so you can get that nice mix of if you want to go for kind of a, a natural smoky eye, you want to jazz it up with possibly this lovely cranberry colour, or maybe make it dark with this black, it's got a bit of metallic sparkle to it. I'm going to be using the Freshly Toasted and substitute for love in this look. Start by blending the shade Bitter Start all over the lid and up to the eyebrow. This just creates a clean base. Moving on to substitute for love, pop that onto a small brush and just blend into the crease of the eye going upwards and outwards. Don't be afraid to get too messy because you can tidy it up later. Now add freshly toasted over where you've just put that other shade and just keep on blending in and out. This look is just a lot of going backwards and forwards between these two shades until you've got the desired look. Add subtle blend which is a cocoa brown shade into the V of the eye and go underneath where the lower lash line is just to add a bit more of a smoke. I keep going over with the fluffy brush just to blend it out. Now add the Loose Pigment Illamasqua shade in for raw to the inner corner of the lid and blend outwards. You'll probably need to go back over with some of the Cocoa Blend palette just where the gold's probably gone over onto the Cocoa Brown shades. Using Rimmel Liquid Eyeliner in Exaggerate, I'm adding a winged cat eye to the look. Using Maybelline Volume Express Turbo Boost in Waterproof, I first curl my eyelashes and then add two coats to the upper and lower lashes. You can either leave the look like this or if you want you can add some false eyelashes which I will be doing later. For this smoky eye I'm using the Eldora False Eyelashes in M104. Now I'm going to move on to the face and I'm going to prime my skin with the Revlon Primer. Using a damp beauty blender and the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. I'm just going to buff it into my skin so I've got a nice base to then do the rest of my makeup. I'm now going to use my concealer and I'm using the Zoeva Concealer brush, Buffer Brush. Um, I'm using the Benefit Boing, as you can see I haven't got much of it left so it's not really worth showing you but <laughs> it's going to go in with the brush under my eyes. And then just to set that I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte 
powder in translucent. I'm actually going to do a bit of contouring now. This is still a technique that I'm learning to do. So I'm only going to do it really lightly because I don't want to go in too harsh. So I'm using the Smashbox step-by-step -step contouring pencil. And then for blush, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown palette. Ooh. I'm going to be using this shade first and then this on the apples of my cheeks just going to use a big fluffy brush just to blend it all in and then to highlight my cheekbones I'm going to be using the NARS Illuminator in Coca Cabana And they're going to set the look with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Lips now. To prep the lips, I'm going to be just buffing in concealer all over the lip. Just as we're using a very bright red, we want to have a nice clean base to start from. Using a red Rimmel lip liner, I lie on the outside of the lips before filling them in. This provides a nice block of colour for a base. I carefully apply the MAC lipstick in shade Steam Heat to the inner section of my lower lip and the cupid's bow before using a lip brush to blend out to the edges. And that's the finished look. I hope you've enjoyed watching this beauty desk video and you all have a lovely Valentine's Day. Stay tuned for the next beauty desk video which will be coming to your screens next month. Bye!